Now, here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. Good evening, everybody. They were up in the northwest corner of the state today. They were looking for that perfect Christmas tree to put down to the U.S. Capitol. And a buildings company came in and got this truck, and they were cutting it down today. Big celebration with all that. So they loaded it on the truck, and they're going to take it around the country and kind of tour. First stop is going to be, uh, I believe it's a place called uh, Immigrant, Montana. And it's a cool-looking picture there, the tree. And a lot of people will be uh, getting to see that as it makes its way across the country. And I guess it's going to probably take quite a while. It's going to stop at many places. Places will wind up in Washington, D.C. at the Capitol uh, probably sometime around December 6th, and then they'll light it shortly after that. But that's the way it looked today. Let's move on and show you what's happening in our neck of the woods. Uh, it's not a bad night for us currently. We have 21 degrees with partly cloudy skies. We have a west wind at about 6 miles per hour. Wind chill factor, though, ooh. That feels like 13 degrees out there. Yeah, it's a little nippy. You'll notice here 23 has been our high today. That low clouds and fog all day today just couldn't get the sunshine to get through and warm us up, so we have stayed cool most of the day. Now, 49 is your normal high. 71 is the record back in 2004. And as you can see, as far as precipitation, didn't get any new precip out of that. No rain or snow today, but we're still ahead of normal for the month. Still ahead of normal for the year at 1550. You only need to be at 1273. And as you'll notice here, our current temperatures were a little warmer out in the west because that's where your warmer area is right now. It eventually start making its way up over the mountains, probably overnight tonight. Current temps right now still mostly into the 20s. We had a little bit of an easterly low-level jet stream today, and that kind of kept things a little cool for us. We think that jet will slide back towards most of the east and into the high plains the next day or so. So our reported highs today only got into the 20s here, 30 over a mile city, but we do have some 40s out in the west. Those 40s will slowly but surely, we're kind of coaxing them up over the mountains. Come on over, guys. Here's what we have today in eastern Montana. Little batch of moisture moving through, just about one to two inches inches of snow there. Your next system is starting to make its way in towards west central Montana. I don't think either one of these snowstorms are going to be much of a threat for the Billings area tonight. What we'll probably just see is some, some foggy conditions later tonight. But your next system is this guy here. It starts moving in towards western Montana tonight. And by tomorrow morning, it's making its way in towards the Billings area. North of Billings, we're looking at generally milder temperatures to the south. That's a cold front, and we have some snow showers across the Beartooth and the Absarokas. Then by Friday evening, we're looking at maybe some spotty rain showers moving Moving into the area, but the warmer temperatures will continue to move into the east, so we're still looking at some pretty nice stuff there. And then eventually by Saturday, some spotty rain showers move past Billings in the afternoon. By, by 6 a.m., we're still looking at some spotty snow showers across the uh, out in the the Beartooth Mountains and the Absarokas. And then later on in the day on Saturday, here comes high pressure, mostly sunny skies moving into the area, and that should kind of clear things out and set us up for a nice weekend ahead. In the meantime, tonight we'll wind up with temperatures into the 20s and 30s out in the west. Back here in the east tonight, generally back down into the teens. In some cases, a few low 20s. Partly cloudy skies should rule for tomorrow. Back to the 40s, 48 degrees in Hardin, 42 in Billings. Partly cloudy skies, maybe some spotty showers by Friday evening and again on Saturday morning. But then after that, we're looking at attempts getting into the 40s in the far west tomorrow, so really not so bad. It's setting us up nice for the weekend. Tonight at midnight, it'll be 22 degrees and still foggy. 31 in the morning, actually warming up by then. By noontime, 39 degrees, 37 at 6 p.m. with partly cloudy skies. The next seven days, how about those 40s? 42 degrees on Friday with a 20% chance for some spotty sprinkles that afternoon. On Saturday, which is uh, Veterans Day, a 40% chance for a wintry mix. It'll be sunny on Sunday, 43 degrees. 50 on Monday, Turkey Tuesday 47, still into the 40s on Wednesday and Thursday with a 20% chance for rain or rain mixing with snow. Let's go back to the desk.